Um, my name is Margaret Gallagher, and I'm going to be your moderator tonight. So I'd like to formally welcome you all to the uh, SFU Wask Center for Dialogue and to this, which is the first in the series of engaging diaspora and development pub um, in development public dialogues. The series is brought to you by Simon Fraser University's International Development Program and the Center for Sustainable Community Development with funding from CETA's Public Engagement Fund and the Bruce and Lise Welch Fund and in partnership with uh, QSO VSO and the BC Council for International Education. Now, as somebody who graduated from SFU and also has roots in the South, specifically my mother is Chinese from Indonesia, I'm very honored to be here this evening. Tonight is about beginning a conversation about the way many globally connected citizens living in Metro Vancouver are acting on their personal and financial commitments to their communities of attachment. And we're going to hear about innovative ways that people are making positive economic, social, and ecological change and what supports would help them to scale up their innovations. Tonight the focus is on poverty reduction and economic development and the unique role that members of the diaspora are playing right here in Metro Vancouver and uh, we are going to hear some very personal responses to poverty and disaster from people who are sitting all around the room tonight. Um, experts say that addressing poverty is about meeting basic needs and the UN Millennium Development Goal for Poverty Reduction aims to half the proportion of people whose income is less than one dollar a day by the year 2015. That in itself is huge, but poverty is not just about lack of money, as you all know. It's also about deprivation such as access to water, to shelter, health services, education, and transport, and feeling safe. John Harris, the Director of International Studies, wrote a very informative briefing note uh, for this dialogue, and you can read the full text of it on the project website. Uh, he suggests that we need to think about poverty in terms of powerlessness, or the inability to make innovative choice or meaningful choices and lead a fulfilling sort of life. And tonight, we're going to hear from people who are trying to help others have more choices and more power. We will hear from, I'm going to introduce the panelists, I'll just get them to wave as I say their names. Um, Kay Carland and her efforts to respond to emergency in Haiti. There's Kay. Uh, Sumana Wijaratna, who's reaching out to communities in her homeland in Sri Lanka. Okay. And also from Lori Kerquera, who is working in, on housing in the Philippines. There's Lori over there. Later, we'll also hear from Miriam Igualu, originally from Uganda, and she'll tell us about how a recent trip home opened up some important connections. And next to her is Antonia Arriega, who is working to support economic development through business and education in Central America. And we're also, of course, going to invite reflections and analysis from some of our leading thinkers on international development at Simon Fraser University. So it is a great pleasure to introduce Professors James Buswamti Sam from Political Science who's sitting right across from me, June Francis from Business Administration, and also Alexander Dawson from History and Latin American Studies.